Okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala writes everything we are going to do before we are born. Then why do we get punished? Didn't he write all of this down? Didn't he know? So why do we get judged and punished for that sinful act? Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did write everything that you are going to do, good or bad, and whether you're going to be in heaven or hell. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows before he created the earth, the whole universe, by more than 50,000 years, what is going to happen, even the leaf, where it's going to fall, when it's going to fall, how it's going to fall, the leaf and the atom. Anybody who denies that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything is saying that Allah lacks knowledge. So we can't say that Allah doesn't know where we're going to end up. Otherwise Allah doesn't know the future. What, who are we depending on? Someone who doesn't know? Allah knows everything. To say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted us to do the sins and He wrote it in the sense that He forced us to do the sin, then you are saying Allah is an oppressor. Allah is oppressing us. How can He make you do the sin and then punish you for it? These two extremes, my dear brothers and sisters, are disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you didn't know, then repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're still a Muslim. But for a person who knows and still says, no, I don't care, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote it, I'm doing it because He wrote it and because He wants me to do it and He's going to punish me for it, you are saying Allah is zalim. And that's shit, that's haram, that's kufr. And to say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't know everything, obviously is kufr as well. The mu'mineen are in between. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote everything, yes. He wants us to believe Him without seeing. Do you believe in the unseen? Do you believe that Allah does know everything? Yes, very well. But does Allah want you to do the sins? No, He does not. Therefore, He gave you a certain portion of an ability to take care of your own choices. Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّا هَدَيْنَاهُ السَّبِيلَ إِمَّا شَاكِرًا وَإِمَّا كَفُورًا We have showed him the guidance. Now you choose if you want to believe or you want to reject. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the choice. However, there are certain things that are beyond your control, such as death. Such as when you get sick and you don't know how you got sick. Such as age. These things are in the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are things called the cosmos, the, 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 um, the cosmos authority or the, the authority of Allah over the universe which you, cannot, you, you can't control when the sun comes out and when it sits. Allah does that. But you can control if you want to believe or not. Isn't that right? So that, Allah says, so that on the day of judgment you will not stand and say, Oh my Lord, it's your fault. Allah will say to you, did we not give you a brain to think with? We'll say yes. Did we not differentiate you from the animal? Yes, the animal doesn't have a choice, but you do. Did we not give you an eye to eyes to see with and a mouth to talk with and ears to, understand, to hear with? You'll say yes. Why did he give us all this? Then he will say, did I not subject everything to you and give you the ability of reasoning? You'll say yes. Therefore it was your choice. So the questioner, yes you are right, Allah knows everything. Why do we get judged and punished? Uh -huh. It's not to prove to Allah. Didn't Allah say He doesn't oppress? Imagine like, I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher by profession. And my students, some of them are here now. If I looked at a student throughout the semester, obviously the teacher understands the capabilities and the levels of each student, right? Yes, a good teacher does. And I know who generally is going to fail and who is going to pass. And I write the questions and put them forward. If I just gave them the report, you've failed and you've passed without examining them, without going through those trials, would I be fair or unfair? I'll be very unfair. So I do the exam and they fail as I anticipated. Does that mean they don't get an exam? It's to prove to them what their capabilities are and secondly, so that they themselves will be a witness against themselves because I cannot be unfair. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judges us in order for us to see. The hadith says, Allah will not let a person enter paradise until they know and convince that they deserve paradise. And they will not enter hellfire on the day of judgment until they know and are convinced that they deserve hellfire. وَمَا رَبُّكَ بِظَلَّامِ الْعَبِيدِ Your Lord is not an oppressor to His servants.